everybody, welcome back to the Mantis Experience. This video is all going to be about what do we have in our Mantis and how do we store it. Welcome back to the Mantis Experience. In today's video, I just want to talk to you about some of the things that we pack in the Mantis and how exactly we pack and where we put things. As you can see here, there's a ton of stuff. We've got canopies. I've got a solo stove. We've got a cooler. We've got, I believe, 11 milk crates that we use for storage. But what's amazing about this is the way that once you actually get it all in and you find the way that you want to store everything, it's not overwhelming. There's a ton of storage space. And even with all of this stuff that we have, we really have leftover storage that we could use for uh, things that we add at a later time. So that's what the point of this video is today, walk you through some of the things we have and how we store them and make it a very functional space within our 2020 Tax of Mantis. One other thing to point out just for the sake of relativity and understanding, this is about 95% of everything that we have in our Mantis. I didn't pull out some of the dish soap and things that we have in the kitchen cabinet, uh, the hoses, things of that nature that comes. But this is, like I said, about 95% of what we have. So that's just, um, I just hope that that gives you an idea of, you know, how much stuff we have and how it actually fits within the Mantis. Now, one thing that everybody needs to keep in mind is that just because we all have similar types of items. Think of fold out chairs or a fire pit or a mattress topper or something like that. Not all things are created equal. So when my wife and I got our 2020 Mantis, we specifically wanted to get as much as we could that would be as compact as possible so that we would be able to maximize the amount of storage that we have within the Mantis. So you've got to keep that in mind. Uh, a lot of the things that we got, like our REI chairs, they fold up to be pretty small. Um, a, a lot of the things that we got uh, are pretty compact and that does allow us to maximize our storage, which like I said, that was our tent intent, but it comes at a cost. Um, you know, one thing to keep in mind, we were actually able to use uh, credit card rewards points for the lion's share of the things that we have bought for the Mantis. So while we did get a lot of things, it actually didn't cost us money out of pocket because we were able to utilize those credit card rewards points. So just keep things like that in mind where you might have some dollars that you can use that don't physically come out of your pocket. You don't see the money going. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is right up here at the front of the Mantis, underneath the bunks. As you can see right now, we've got the bunks folded up completely. Uh, you can't quite see them in the picture, but there's some sleeping bags, some blankets, a pillow or two up here. And we can just store it like that when we're driving because if a sleeping bag falls off, it's not really gonna hurt anything. So that's where we put that. So I mentioned earlier in the video that we have uh, a total of 11 milk crates in the Mantis. We did pick up a few extra uh, for the way that we envisioned packing in our Mantis. So these are four milk crates up here. You can see we've got a bag of charcoal uh, that we use in our solo stove uh, to get a fire going, help reduce the amount of wood uh, that we're burning. But these four milk crates, what these are primarily used for are clothing for all of us. Remember, we're a family of five. Uh, so clothing for all of us, 
as well as a couple of you know food items like bread, peanut butter, stuff like that that doesn't have to be refrigerated. We keep some of that down here. And then sometimes just a few other utensils depend depending on the overall amount of food or uh, clothes that we have. Because uh, for instance, this weekend, we're going to the beach. So that means we need about three t-shirts and a couple pairs of shorts and some flip flops for everybody. Whereas if you're going into more of a cold weather environment, you're gonna have bulkier clothes. So uh, it all just varies and we, we kind of do it uh, dependent on the destination, the weather that we're planning to experience throughout that time. But for the most part, what we store up here, clothes, food, and a couple of other ancillary items. So the next spot I'm gonna talk about uh, is right here on the passenger side. You can see behind me, this is the main door entry. Uh, so some of the things that we keep here, uh, again, keep in mind, we went with very compact types of items, but pots, pans, uh, knives, cutting accessories, spatulas, all of those types of things are up here in these two um, milk crates. And then the one down at the bottom uh, right there, that's our tools, uh, matches, you know, kind of uh, survival type stuff that you might need when you're out and about. Paracord, you get the idea. That's where we keep that. Uh, we chose that spot primarily because that's the stuff you probably access the least. And that's probably the most difficult place uh, to get to uh, when you're talking about your milk crates in the Mantis. Another really good spot to be able to maximize your storage while you're traveling to your destination is right here on top of the bathroom shower uh, addition. I know not everybody has that. If you don't, then you really have all this as storage space or, you know, quite honestly, space to use as you see fit. But when we're traveling, we put the top down. Uh, we'll typically put toilet paper, paper towels in uh, the bathroom at the bottom. And then you can see we've got our solo stove. We've got uh, seven gallons of additional water right here. And we've also got a shower tent and a Sea Gear sand mat. So if you do have a solo stove, which I highly recommend for any uh, taxa outdoors habitat owner because they just seem like they were made to go together. But if you do it, uh, especially if you do what I did, which was include a Weber grill grate for the top so that we can actually cook food on it when we're out at camp, um, that grate can scratch up the paneling. So put something with a soft fabric behind it, whether it's your shower tent or your sand mat or a sleeping bag, what have you. Put something behind it so that you don't do what I did and scratch up the, the uh, paneling on the uh, side of your habitat. So now I'm in the galleyway of the Mantis and we are under the stove and sink looking at this side. And so uh, I, again, I've said this earlier and before, we're a family of five. We have three young kids, one still full-time in diapers, one wears pull-ups. So we have to account for all of those things. So we keep wipes, diapers, uh, pull-ups, so, uh, you know, other things right here in this front. It fits nicely under the sink with the P-trap. Uh, so it, it's really a perfect place for it. For the next one, this is where we keep um, Ziploc bags, trash bags, paper towels, wash rags, things of that nature that we kind of need as we're cooking, cleaning, doing different things of that nature. This third one uh, holds all of our coffee, percolator, uh, plastic plates, plastic cups, uh, not single use, uh, reusable forks, coffee filters, all of those types of things. That's what we keep in this third one. And then the last one is really for our toiletries, um, you know, deodorant, contact solution, glasses, soaps, uh, shampoos, things of that nature. We keep all of that back here. And then this little spot up here, uh, it's a good little spot. We kind of use this for storage when we're out, uh, you know, camping. So we could put our glasses in there. We could put uh, phone chargers, what have you. We can put all of that right in there. And then it's easily accessible from the bed or if you're standing up, uh, it's just really easy to get to. Your stuff's all right there and you know where it is. You don't have to spend your time looking for it. The last thing I'll mention about the galleyway is this spot right here under, uh, this is our Snowmaster uh, dual zone fridge, but there's a spot 
right under here. We just keep some random things down here. There's really no method to the madness. We've got a floor mat. We'll definitely pull that out this week as we're going to the beach. That'll help help keep sand out of our bed. Um, my wife has a jacket, the screen for the door. We've got a 12-volt fan under here that we use uh, from time to time to help circulate the air. Uh, we keep a NOCO battery charger under here as well. Uh, that's just good to have. If you're starting to get low on power, you can use that to recharge your phones. You have an issue with the car, it'll jump it for you. Um, so that's something that we always travel with. It's just a little bit of a safeguard. You seldom ever need it, but uh, it's there when you do. So the cabinets for the kitchen, I think that's a very personal choice. Uh, you can see we keep some coffee mugs up here. We've got this thing right here is actually pretty awesome and well worth the, uh, I think it was like a $6 investment, but it's a, a container that holds a bunch of different types of seasoning. So we have salt, pepper, garlic, you know, kind of the, the standard stuff that you use when cooking. Keeps it nice and tidy, airtight, so it doesn't make a mess. We've also got uh, some playing cards, headlamps, um, lighters, uh, remotes for the air conditioner and the refrigerator. So it's just things that we can easily grab as well. They all stay pretty well put when you're traveling, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, and again, you know, some soaps, some whatever. But really, like I said, it's really a personal choice uh, as to what you want to put back here. I think it's just stuff that you want to easily grab. And then when we are camping, uh, don't forget about this top space up here. This is a really useful space, especially if you're like my wife and me. Uh, we both wear glasses or contact lenses. You can get a little vanity mirror, put it up here so you can see when you're putting in your contacts. When you're out camping, you can keep your Taxa Outdoor coffee mug up here, uh, just kind of out of the way of things. And then when you're done, you just tuck it right back into these. But this is a really good uh, shelf space to be able to use when you're actually at your destination. So here we are now back on the passenger side of the Mantis. Um, we've got the primary bed lifted up here. And so all of those REI chairs that I referenced that fold up pretty compact, we have two for adults and three for kids. They are all in here, as well as four bogey microfiber towels. And you can see, I mean, these fold down very nice and compact. You can hang them on the clothesline at the front of the Mantis. Uh, when you're out at camp to let them dry off, things of that nature. Back here in the last one is where we keep the hoses. So the hose for the outdoor shower, the hose if you're hooking up to water at a campsite, we keep all of that right back there in uh, this last slot in the Mantis. We also have this Osprey hiking pack right here. And uh, when we're commuting, we just tuck it right under there. Very nice and neat, not going to flop around and hit anything or break anything. And then when we get to camp, that's something we just set up. We typically leave it outside or we'll throw it in the back of our car. The other spot worth noting now is on the driver's side with the primary bed. You can see we keep uh, some bed sheets in this first spot. The second spot is actually empty right now. So uh, when I was talking earlier in the video about how we you know, have extra storage that we haven't even begun to use. This is where we're starting to get into it, uh, as well as this spot under the AC or in front of the AC like we talked about and some other areas. But uh, for these, that's what we typically use this for because uh, it makes it easy to get it in and out when you get to camp or when you're leaving camp. But then uh, long term, it's easy just to keep it right here. Also, this spot back here is another storage cubby that for us is not being utilized right now. So again, just keep in mind, you saw the things that we started with out in my driveway, and now we've got most of them in where they belong, and we still have plenty of extra storage space. I forgot to mention this other one back over here, that's another uh, little galley of storage back there. The only thing that we have is the shower wand to, to reiterate the point, we've got more than enough storage inside of our mantis. And this isn't necessarily about how we store things and all that, it's just kind of like a little added tip. These uh, magnetic hooks, I think they're rated to like 60 or 100 pounds each, which is more than I'll ever need. Utilize the, the frame, uh, the exoskeleton all around 
your habitat and use these. We take these, we store spatulas, we hang our hats on them, different things of that nature. The other thing that's really nice to have is a magnetic koozie. Uh, so you can pick up a couple of those on Amazon or Etsy. You can even get custom ones made on Etsy, I think. Uh, we haven't done that, but um, to each their own. But uh, these are pretty nice. Uh, if you have an adult beverage, um, you can you know hang it on the door, you can hang it around uh, on the back when you're doing something. And it's just a, it's a nice little thing to have. And, uh, you know, then when you're done with them, we just leave them right here on the frame and we know where they are whenever we, uh, we get to camp. The other spot worth mentioning is right down here. This is at the rear on the passenger side. You just have this little spot to store some things. We've got a mallet. We actually printed out the owner's manual for the Dometic, for our fridge, for the Mantis. Uh, we keep this collapsible trash can over here. So it's just stuff that you can easily grab in a pinch. Uh, and you don't have to, uh, you know, lift up the cushions or anything like that. It's just right there, easily accessible and ready to go. You can see I've got this trifold, I think it's a four inch mattress topper. So we go ahead and lay that down. The wonderful thing about this is it doesn't get in the way when you want to set up the dinette and have breakfast or, you know, eat. If you prefer to eat inside your habitat, specifically this is for our mantis, uh, but if you prefer to eat inside, because of the trifold, it just folds up real nice and neat. We tuck it on the driver's side of the Mantis uh, because that bench has more depth to it. So um, it can either be a nice backing for the people sitting over there, or again, we have young kids. It's uh, sort of a booster seat that works pretty well for our kids when they're eating uh, food at the dinette table. So just something to keep in mind. We've really liked it. Uh, this isn't to review this, but uh, this mattress topper has been fantastic. We both sleep really well. I think it's pretty common knowledge that the cushions themselves are not terribly comfortable. Uh, so I know a lot of people are looking for this type of a, a solution or something like it. Again, we love it because of the trifold nature um, and it, it, it's very comfortable, but it also stores well when we're actually at camp and trying to use the dinette. I made a video about this before, so I won't talk too much about it, but I showed you where we had seven gallons of water at the front on top of the bathroom slash kitchen cabinet extension. We also have another five gallon jerry can that we strap right here with bungees. It's perfect. And then uh, when we take it to camp, we can either leave it here until we need it or we can set it out on a camp table, whatever the case may be. But this is a good spot for it. So after all of that, you remember what we started with now you see what we have left. Uh, it's really not much anymore. Some bigger items, we typically will put um, this either in the back of our tow vehicle or we will uh, just put it on the floor inside the Mantis. Most of this stuff does not stay in here in the Mantis when we get to camp. Camp table, we set that out, we put the cooler underneath it. Uh, we've got a canopy this trip because we're going to a beach. It'll be good to have some shade. Um, we do have a pack and play for my youngest child right now. Long term, that won't be the case. It's kind of a travel pack and play, so it tucks up real nice. It doesn't take up a tremendous amount of space. Um, but that's pretty much it. So you can see everything that we started with and how much we stored in the Mantis permanently, as well as the leftover storage space that we had in our Mantis. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the Mantis experience and walking through our Mantis with us so that we could show you how we store everything when we're traveling to our destination as well as when we get there. If you like this, please hit the thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. If you have any opinions or thoughts or comments about ways we could be doing this better or things that you and your family do in your habitat, please leave them in the comments below and let us know. Uh, I think we all know that the taxa community is a pretty tight group of folks, all like-minded, uh, but have differing ways of doing things. So we love hearing the feedback, the opinions, the, hey, you should try this because it might be better. Because uh, I think in the end, we can all learn from one another and understand the different ways that everybody personalizes their own individual habitats. Now we are about to load up, head down to South Texas, and we're going to try our hand at camping on the beach. We've never done it, so maybe we'll document that journey for a future video so people can understand what they need, what they don't need when they are camping at the beach.